battle. Trill, everybody. First timer, give him some love. Give him some fucking love. Hey. I cut grass for a living, and I'm sure you're wondering, if you're a landscaper, why are you so fat? <laughs> I'm not. Shut up, and don't be so insensitive, pricks. <laughs> I'm a products tester. For those of you who do not know, I test products, or as the nerds might understand, I am a beta tester for lawn equipment. <laughs> so the products you get are slightly less shitty than the products I have to test. <laughs> we cut in a myriad of places, a couple parks, some fields back in the woods, and an industrial parkway. For those of you who do not know what an industrial parkway is, it's a clusterfuck of corporate tomfoolery with just a hint of environmental desecration. <laughs> As with any job, my job has pros and cons. The major con comes while we're cutting in the industrial parkway, and it makes itself known in the form of what we in the grass cutting business like to call trucker bombs. Trucker bombs are disposable containers filled with human excrement. <laughs> yeah, ew. <laughs> so I'm sure you're thinking, ah, being cascaded in a torrent of human effluence is awful. But no, this human effluence is prefixed by the word trucker, which makes anything and everything awful. <laughs> Take bathrooms, for example. Gas station bathrooms are awful, but think about trucker bathrooms. <laughs> they would elicit a mental image of a toilet seat three feet too wide with month-old ass hair on it. <laughs> Take underpants. Trucker underpants. They're worn by truckers. That's enough. <laughs> and take something like boobs. Boobs are glorious, majestic even, but even then, when prefixed by trucker, they're horrifying and disgusting. <laughs> they elicit in it an image of something that's lopsided, sad, three feet too long, and hairy. <laughs> now with all of this, I'm sure you're wondering, Sean, if you're outside, where do you poop? <laughs> <laughs> the answer's in the woods. I poop in the woods. The answer's not literally in the woods. I'm not sending you on a scavenger hunt for answers. Uh, I'm sure you're thinking, ah, that sounds awful. How could you do that? It's actually kind of nice. It's quiet. You just squat down. Your body's actually supposed to poop in that position. So it's actually easy. And you get to commune with nature. So you're sitting, squatted by a tree. You look up, and what do you see? It's a bird. The bird looks down upon you. It says, oh, Sean, what are you doing? Shitting in the woods. How about you? Shitting in the sky. <laughs> Bird shit in the sky. <laughs> Look over to your right and what do you see? It's a bear. Oh no. <laughs> bear looks at you. He sees your pensive, distraught. He goes, oh no, cool. I'm all right, man. I'm not gonna bother you. What are you doing? Shit in the woods, communing with nature. Oh, that's cool, man. Hey, bear. Yeah. Do you shit in the woods? <laughs> You. <laughs> I'm Sean, that's all I got. <laughs> Seriously, for the first time, that's Sean. You keep it going, keep it going. That was awesome. Like, nobody ever really does that good their first time. It's like sex. You just don't, you're not that good at it. Or I'm just not that good at it. I don't know.